There was a wild storm last night and it wrecked our ship. I don't remember much, but at least I can move my legs. Ooh. I don't know what happened here. I find a letter from home from my best friend, Thomas. After looking around for a bit, I finally see what I need to do. Here we go. Up on the shoreline, I can see some crabs. Hello, Mr. Crab. Possibly some loot. I grab everything that I can see. As I continue to go inland, I can see a small camp. Hello, guys. Since my head still hurts, I can't remember this fellow orc's name. Elk. But he gave me pretty helpful information. So I pick up a couple sticks and start booping crabs. Once I was tired smashing crabs, I went back to Kelk to talk to him some more. He reminded me of other weapons, but I really like to use big weapons, like a hammer. I go back down to the beach just to grab a few more crab meats. I go back and tell Doug that the recipe was excellent, and that made him happy. He then tells me about coconuts on the tops of the palm trees. So I give him some wood and then he crafts me a slingshot. Look out birds, here I come. Some coconuts, you say. If I equip my slingshot, start taking out coconuts. Pink. Then ran into a blacksmith, Raina. She told me a few things about crafting and gave me some recipes. So I rushed over to the crafting table to have a look. I started crafting oak planks. I knew these would come in handy later on. Coconuts, 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 coconuts. Hey, Doug. I then rush back to Doug to show him all the coconuts I gathered. He teaches me how to make a sweet coconut milk drink. So I make some myself. Mm. More coconuts. Yes. Doug asked me if I enjoyed my meal. I told him it was the best thing I've had in years. All right. Doug also mentioned another survivor named Sen and I should go out and see if I can find him. Ooh, sparkles. I see something that obviously looks like a trap. So I save it for another time. Ooh, scary. I think the sun is setting, so I use this time to gather up some more wood. And of course, money, 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 money. Loot. I need more wood. More wood. Then. I finally found Sen hanging out over by the bluff. He told me about a secret entrance that leads to a giant crab. And somehow, killing the crab opens his door. I think I knew exactly what Sen was talking about. So I rushed back over to the overgrown opening. 
Let's say pick up more shiny stones and go around the corner. I finally seen it. Big crab. Hey ya. This crab was big, but it was no match for a little ore boy. Yes. More shining stones. Also found a an inventing log signed by Graham. Wonder who he was. After I found the key, I rushed back to see Sen. I tried the key on the symbol. Worked. The gate opened right up. Open door. Once the gate finally fell, I start collecting more logs. Then I found a mysterious piece of paper. It was signed by someone named Clyde. But I think I should try to find some more. Oh, hello. After collecting some more resources, I saw another friendly face. Woodcarver. I could sell some more shiny stones to her, too. Soon then found another mysterious age. Where is this guy? Clyde. Finally, I found the last missing page. Just have to decipher what he's talking about. I climb the little mountain, and up top, I see a mysterious man. Hello? Oh. It was Clyde. He was asking about his missing pages. Good thing I found him, so I gave him back to him. He asked for help for building his contraption. He needed some resources, but luckily, I came well prepared. He asked me if I was ready to leave. I told him not yet. I wanted to wait till morning. The sun finally rose. And I was ready to try out the new glider. But first, I wanted to let know Sen how to get off the island too. Sen asked me to meet him in Hope Harbor. And since I have nothing else to do, why not? I then went back up to the tiny mountain to talk to Clyde. He was finished with the glider and gave it to me to test. Okay, equip the glider, then after a double jump, space jump, then hold. The sun was starting to go down, so I better do this quickly and get to Hope Harbor. So I equip the flimsy glider and jump. I see smoke. It was a small campfire. I never would have gotten here if it wasn't for the glider. Ooh. And then I found it. Graham's hammer. Ooh. This was so exciting for an orc boy. With the sun going down, I rush back up the tiny mountain. And I see my runway and jump. The view was beautiful. I think it reminds me of a song. I'm soon greeted with a merchant. A couple things for sale but I need to save my gold. She asked me for a favor. She wanted me to find Captain James. I told her okay and put a note in my quest log. I start heading in the direction of the big settlement that I saw when I was in the air. And on the way there, I picked some mushrooms on the way. Mm, mushroom. Mmm. As I get closer, I can see Sin up ahead. He asked me to go to the local inn down by the water and buy him a room. I told him sure thing, and I'll be right back. As I'm walking through center of town, it obviously looks like they're celebrating a spooky festival. Ooh, 
super scary. So without getting too scared, I head down towards the bay. Dance lessons. Sam Seaside Inn. I finally find Sam Seaside Inn. I speak with Sam. I buy Sam's room and can't wait to get back outside to explore. I meet a tool merchant, Ray. He has a hatchet and a pick for sale. So, I sell him some shiny stones and buy his tools. There are a lot of different merchants here. Even ones that i never seen. <laughs> you make... You make candles? Finally find Captain James and give him the letter. I can now cross that off my quest log. He offers me compensation. And then another quest. Lightly accept and go find Maggie. Drink you say? I think I know where that is. I finally found Maggie and told her that Captain James owed her a drink. A dizzy juiced. And of course that led me to another quest to help out Maggie. I told her okay, and was sent to find another fellow orc. But before I did that, I knew the sun was going down and Sin would be sleepy. So I rushed back over to tell Sin that his room was ready. Favors, favors, favors. I then took a pause to enjoy the spooky festival. Spooky. But now that the sun is coming up, we can try to go find Chester, the orc. That's oh, just Greg. Hey, Chester. Jink. Where is Chester? Oh, is that Chester? Crawl. I finally find Chester, Maggie's assistant. You, Chester? Chester. He told me about the cellar being in trouble and that there is intruders. I told him to give me the key and I'll get rid of those crabs. These crabs were a lot bigger than I was used to, but still no match for my hammer. Not even invisible crabs. Ah. The last one smashed, finally found a chest and start looking for some booze. Any free booze? Free booze for a poor ore? Sadly, they were all out. I went back to Maggie and told her that her cellar is clear. And as reward, she gave me a, a dizzy juice. This was exactly what I needed. I should go give this to Captain James. Captain James was excited to finally have his dizzy juice. I was glad to get paid. Then I was off on my way. No quest to my log. I was free to do anything. The sound of metal clanking in the distance, I ran into Lucy, blacksmith. She tells me she can't really teach me anything right now. She's busy with an order, the guards. So I offered my assistance and made a couple weapons for her. She was excited that I helped out, and they turned out great. I now have the freedom to use the furnace. I then ran into the horse master, Leroy. Horses. I was excited to buy a horse, but they were far too expensive, so I just bought a saddle for now. I saw a guard captain, Teak, asked her if she needed help with anything as I was getting pretty poor. She said there's work to do and to go talk to Sandy. As I was talking to Sandy, she she seemed very scared. There was a super important job to do. And she couldn't take care of it by herself. She needed my help. So I set off into the woods to fight what she was most scared of. Large rats. 